Good morning all, Mac Blogs here, aka Ian. Today is episode 5 of a 6 part series, a 6 episode series that I'm doing of places in Scotland. And as you can see behind me, I'm at a castle, but not any old castle. Or maybe it's an old castle. <laughs> I'm at Crookston Castle in Pollock in Glasgow. This is a medieval castle that is still standing to this day in Glasgow. So let's go and have a look around. It's a free entry, no, don't need to pay to come in. Um, but just obviously be be nice, be courteous and look after the place as well so let's go and have a look around on the outside and then we'll go inside, the inside looks really cool and then from the top there you can just see it's going to be some good views of an estate so it's, a middle of a, it's in the middle of a, a housing estate so yeah I'm going to show you all that in the video so let's go and explore so like I say, just starting at the entrance, the castle is surrounded by a housing estate and this is the entrance up towards, the path up towards the castle. Now this plaque here is showing Crocs Castle, so it says this ditch was dug to hinder attacks on an earlier timber castle built by Sir Robert Croc in the 1100s. This fortress stood where the ca stone castle is now probably surrounded by a bristling wooden palisade and there's the ditches it is very steep, it's very hard to show in the video how steep that is but yeah, I think if I went in I wouldn't get back out so I'll keep to this path just walking up towards Crookston Castle just now it's very hard to believe how old this castle is and I will give more information as the video goes so there is a plaque here we can go and have a look at the information that it shows So welcome to Crookston Castle. I will just scan over it and you can have a look at your leisure. So as it is tempting to go inside, just now I'm going to stay outside and explore all the kind of information that it's shown here. Some information up there, so it says site of projecting corner turret destroyed during the siege by James IV in 1489. The entrance to the castle, the entrance and exit to the castle is there. And I'm going to not go in just yet. It is a bit windy, so apologies. I'll try and block out as much of the wind as I can. But I think the, the rain might be coming, which is why I want to get outside first. Look at the detail and the window. Just everything's detail, but that, in, a, in a sense that you can still see it from all these years ago. So I've just walked round. To this side of the castle now. 
and again you've got all these little openings which hopefully I can see more of inside now I haven't been inside yet so this is a first for me I haven't been here before oh pigeon is that a medieval pigeon? looks like there's water just came down there previously we're going to the other side now like I say we can go up to the top which we'll be doing and have a look at the view of housing estate it's very unusual to be surrounded by housing estate of course that this is still here it's fantastic that they have kept they've kept this castle here so so much history there's a bit of a ruin here as well still kept and that's the same bit so site of, site of projecting corner turret same that we've just seen around the corner so I'm going to step back a bit you can see this elevation here see all the mounds as well look at all the shapes and the mounds and the the garden there, is that what you call it? <laughs> I'm not an expert, I'm not a historian or anything like that. But yeah, we'll call it the, the front garden of Crookston Castle. <laughs> I'm going to go inside because I think the rain is just about to start, so if it rains at least I'll be in a half covered castle rather than outside so let's go in it has got a different feel to like I just feel like other castles feel different when you're around them because of the, the year, it was uh, year it was born <laughs> year it was built first very steep stairs oh wow well. I didn't think it would be open like this to walk around in It's got a lot of information there as well on these plaques which we can have a look at. Oh, more medieval pigeons. Feast and festivities. This is the banqueting hall. Crookston celebrations. Most of the time the family dined in their private upper hall which was located overhead but this lower hall was a venue for large feasts and celebrations. The space would have been richly decorated with tapestries on the walls and enamel floor tiles underfoot. Music and laughter would have echoed off the lost vaulted ceiling. In the table plan, so the feast followed a strict etiquette. Seating was organised by rank with the Lord and his favoured guests at the high table in front of the fireplace. Here is the fireplace. It's a very big fireplace there.
you've got these lockable cupboards some of the views you get That detail there, the shelf. I don't know what the purpose would be if there's any significance there with that, the way it's stepped, just maybe the way it's been built. Go across the other side. This is so cool. That's a blocked stair, so it was a bit unsafe. We can go into this room. Just mind ahead. Place here. So this is the war room. You are now in the northeast tower. It's concrete floors and iron ladders date from the Second World War. So let's attempt the stairs and head up to the next level. This is going to be fun. Let's go. Oh, very steep. Oh, very windy. Oh, just take your time and cover up. 
here we are to the next level. The view is just getting higher and higher, of course. Another fireplace. That's a little gap there, <clears throat> pardon me, how we could see earlier on. This is us overlooking the, the lower hall. Look how steep that is. <laughs> well, let's go up. Let's take my time. stairs into another room, another level. Let's start seeing the view is getting higher and higher. I'm going to go upstairs, the last set of stairs, quickly. Just because the rain is starting to get heavier. And it's getting a bit more windy, so let's head up the staircase. Oh, wish me luck. Right. Don't try this at home. Always use both hands. Right. Need to switch the camera around. Look at this. Look at what I'm doing right now. I've got my bag on, so it's going to be a bit awkward. Oh, wow. Oh, it's very narrow with a bag on. Oh. Look at this. That's what I've just crawled through with my bag. <laughs> so it is very deceiving, but you do get a very good view. You can imagine back then the view you would get. I'm going to scan this as well. Fact or fiction? Legend has it that Mary, Queen of Scots, had a romantic rendezvous with her future husband, Henry, Lord Darnley, breathe the shade of Crookston. Get apologies for the, the wind if it's picking it up. But it is just a horrible morning it's turned into. Just trying to give you an overview. Of the castle. Now I haven't been down like below, like, I don't know if it's called basement or the first level, just because there was quite a few folk down there, so we will do that on our way back out. We can have a look.
Well, like I said, it is getting a bit windy. It's off and on just now with the rain and the wind, so it stopped there. It's about to protect my lens and the camera. So it's not too bad just now. But it has incredible views. You can imagine, like I say, the vantage point, if you want to call it, that they had from being up here. You could see who was coming to protect their castle. But like I say, I'm not a historian, I just like going on these adventures when I'm not out exploring Orlando, Florida, like most of my content with Disney World and uh, Disney Universal, all that kind of stuff, Orlando, Florida based. When I'm not there, I'm obviously back home in Scotland and uh, the UK exploring different things, so this is why I wanted to do a mini series. So if you're enjoying it so far, hit subscribe, so much more coming. And uh, yeah, I appreciate your support and everyone that does support me and support my channel. And hopefully, you can support me going back down these steep stairs. So let's go. I'll try my best to record it, but I'm gonna have to go back the way. So, let's see. Just take your time. Look. You stand up straight. Just another few to go. Right, let's go down the next one. There we go. Please descend safely. There we go. Apologies for my sniffles. Just my hay fever. Kicking in. Either or not. Back in this room. And let's just keep it going back down this one. No more stairs. Let's head back down the castle bottom. Watch my head. Back at the toilet, I think. I'm not going to use it. Right. We're back out. Two. This was the lower hall. See the weather starting to turn for the worst now. Sniffle sniffles. Right. So let's head back down. These stairs to the bottom. Oh. Oh, it's 
look at this. In the vital store. Detail. Look at that there. Still there. Don't know what it is, but it's still there. Turn around. Look at that there. Don't know if that's an old thing or a new thing with vandalism. Let's turn around. So this information says this cavernous vault was once stocked full of provisions to feed the Darnley Stewart family and their guests. The Lord's Hoard salted meat, fish and game probably hung on hooks from the ceiling below. Supplies were piled high casts of butter, cheese, preserves, barrels of ale and wine baskets of fruit and sacks bursting with barley and oats. In the lost towers, look for the blocked doorways that lead into the vaults of two corner towers destroyed during the 1489 siege. A later cupboard has been inserted into the stonework to your right. A poor substitute, substitute for the lost storage beyond. The archway behind you led to the castle kitchen. Right, let's go exploring into here. It's a bit dark, so we may need a torch. So, have a look. Oh, this is very eerie. <laughs> very spooky indeed. This is the vaulted basement used mainly for storage. You can see out to the garden, <laughs> the front lawn, front garden of Crookston Castle. history here. You can just feel it. Let's head back out through this archway. Step. 
Let's head back out. One last at a time, look at this. Metal gate. And what's behind it? Little secret room. <laughs> so back outside. Thankfully, the rain has stopped for now. I believe just on the edge, so I'm out the castle now. But just around the edge here, that ditch. Continues all the way around, the one we seen at the beginning of the video. Continues right in the edge of the garden, let's say. The castle's just there. You can see the ditch. It goes all the way around. That's so cool. You've got all the trees all grown all through on the side of the ditch. Like I said, it's very hard to show how steep that is. And that's where I was squeezing through that gap right up to the top. That is very deceiving of the view you get and the actual height well that's it that's all I can really show there's nothing else to show I've really enjoyed doing something different like this and visiting a medieval castle in the middle of Glasgow it's still standing to this day can you believe it it's, it's right here. <laughs> yeah, so, like I said, this is something different I wanted to do in regards to uh, create this type of content. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you have watched all the way through, thank you. And if you support me, thank you. All my links down below for my social media, Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. Hit subscribe, show the support. Uh, I really appreciate that as well because it helps me, keeps me motivated and it helps uh, grow the channel as well and get this type of content out there to those who would enjoy it as well. So yeah, I'm going to call it a day here at Crookston Castle in Glasgow. Thank you for watching. Until the final episode or the next video on my channel, I'll see you all then. Bye bye.